Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chalvan, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangod. Today we discuss about the topic, Principles of Management. In that Principles of Management, we will discuss about Directing. It means, Issuing of Order, Leading and Motivation Subordinate as they go about their Executing Order. Definition of Directing defines, activity, Activating deals with the step of manager takes to get subordinates and other to carry a plan. Then next we discuss about principles of directing. There are five points are available. The first point harmony of objectives. Individuals and organization have their own objectives. The management should coordinate the individual objectives with the organizational objectives. Then next we discuss about unity of direction. An employee should receive order and instruction only from only one superior. Then next one for direct supervision, it should it should have direct relationship with the subordinate. Then effective communication, the superior must ensure that plan policies, responsibility and orders are fully understood by the subordinate in the right direction. Then follow through. Direction is a continuous process, follow is necessary, so the management should Watch whether the subordinate follow the orders and whether they face difficulties in carrying out the order of an organization. Then next we discuss about leadership. It is a process by which a person with vision is able to influence the activities and the outcomes of others is a desired way. Leaders know what they want and why they want it and, and they are able to communicate those desires to others to gain their co-presence and the support. Then next we discuss about qualities of leadership. Leadership having the 10 qualities. The first one is for physical features. The next one is for knowledge. Third one is for integrity. Then vision. Then initiatives. Then motivational skills, self-confidence, social skills, communication skills and decisiveness. These are the 10 points we will discuss in the qualities of uh, leader. Then next we discuss about leadership types. There are three different types of leaderships are available. The first one is for autocratics, lazy free and democratics. The first point autocratics means managers make decisions, employees follow the order, employees ideas are not considered. Then lazy free means employees make decisions, minimize minimum interference and guidance from the management. Then democratics means the group makes decisions, everyone is encouraged to make contribution. Then employees ideas are also considered. Then next we discuss about motivation. Here the motivation is the process by which a person efforts are energized, directed and sustained towards attaining a goal. There are three key elements in the process. The first one is for energy. It means to measure of intensity and drive. Then direction. Effort is channeled towards a direction that benefits the organization. Then persistence, employees should persist in putting their efforts. These are the three key elements in the motivational process. Then next we discuss about Maslow's theory. There are five different points are available. The first one is for psychological needs, then safety, then love and belongness, belonging, then self-esteem, self then self-actualization. The first point, psychological needs, we discuss about breathing, food, Water, shelter, clothing, sleep, is, uh, these are the things that are necessary in the psychological needs. The next one is for safety and security. It will be discussed about health, employment, property, family and social ability. Then love and belongingness, discuss about friendship, family, intimacy, then sense of connection. Then self-esteem, confidence, achievement, then respect of others, the need to be a unique individuals. Then self-actualization, it will be discussed about morality, creativity, responsibility, acceptance, then experience, purpose, meaning and inner potential. These are the five points we will discuss in the Maslow's theory. The next we discuss about Air Bruce have three theory of motivational. There are two factors, one is for hygiene factors, then another one is for motivational factors. Here the hygiene factors, the personal safety, then good working condition fair com compensation, job security, then good work life balance, fair organization policy, 
here the motivating factors rewards recognizations then assigning the higher responsibility then meaning full work role that i have that has better career prospects etc thank you for watching this video